Yeah, I'm just really proud of our gals today. We had to deal with the news yesterday that uh, our number one runner, Emily Taylor, wasn't going to be able to run because of an injury. So I just really challenged the girls to really step up today. And uh, it, it, I think it went really well. I think they competed really well. Uh, obviously, our overall finish was affected by Emily not being there. But six of the eight girls that competed this morning actually ran significantly faster than they did uh, earlier in the season on the same course. And so, you know, I told the girls we're going to celebrate success. We're going to celebrate, you know, PRs and improvement. And uh, that's exactly what we got out of today. So I'm really proud of them. And I think it was a overall good day. And we're just going to see about the injury if she, Emily can compete at regionals and just kind of move forward and get ready for that. So good day overall for the gals. Today was pretty tough out there. It was pretty dry. Wendy really felt the dust in my face today. but. Uh, you know, I wanted to finish in the top 30, but I still felt strong. But I think I still finished in maybe the top 35 was uh, the first finish for our team. But I feel like this week, these next couple weeks, really got to put in some work and get ready for regionals uh, in these next uh, upcoming two weeks. Hopefully, we'll have uh, our other uh, front runner, Marco, uh, back for, for regionals uh, in these next two weeks. And really, you know, give it a, a good finish, a little better finish than we had today, but strong finish for regionals next week. Um, we finished about where we expected. Um, we knew we had some problems because our number one runner, Emily Taylor, was out. But I think we picked it up together as a team and I finished 21st, which is about where I expected. It was a hard race and the last kilometer was really hard, but I think we really stuck and pushed through and just an overall great performance.